All right, guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Survive Russia. Today, we're in the woods, we're in the forest. We're gonna do a really fast review on this uh, Fjelldukken Hunter Medium Hunter M, I think it's called. Yeah, it is a super awesome piece of equipment. It's also super expensive, but if you're a really active outdoorsman, this is definitely a piece of equipment you need. Maybe not this one, maybe another model. They make other models of this. I'm not affiliated with uh, Yavin, Fjelldukken whatsoever. They're Norwegian guys, they have do NATO contracts and so on. I'm a Danish guy, I'm living in Russia, so we have no affiliations. But I want to give a shout out to this piece of equipment to you guys, because I just spent the night here, there'll be a video on that, and I used it many, many times. I know many Norwegian guys used it many times, and many others. The, the company has been supplying uh, the Norwegian army with this for more than 30 years. It can be used as a shelter, and, uh, and a sleeping bag, and a shelter, and whatnot. You can see we have a ziplock here. <coughs> we have two ziplocks actually. They are for the sleeves, which go onto your arms. If you want to use it as a poncho and so on. We have a signal flag, now it starts raining. And we have a strap for the waist, if we want to use it as a poncho. It is 100% waterproof, it will compensate on the inside, but it's not a big problem. The Prima Loft uh, insulation works really, really great. Also when it's damp, maybe even when it's wet, I don't know. Here we can see the condensation I was talking about that would build up and will build up in the bag because it's absolutely waterproof. This is where my feet been. This is uh, where I've been laying on my back. That's what that looks like. And again here you can see my feet been there. my upper body but on this side there's not that much condensation as on the as where it's been close to the ground but that's what that's the condensation you will get but the good thing about it is that it doesn't affect its performance because uh, Prima Loft is a really good uh, insulator it has some kind of uh, what it, <laughs> can we say um, properties like wool it does also insulates while it's uh, wet or damp this is not wet it's just damp a fast shout out to you guys for for uh, really really good equipment piece of equipment for hunting and just for the outdoorsman basically but but if you are out active outdoorsman and stuff and stuff then uh, this is definitely something for you and if you're in the colder climate I've been using this not as a standalone in minus 20 but I've been using it in minus 20 camping and it always makes a big difference just like today here's the NATO stock number Honda M Prima Loft 60 milligrams per or 60 grams per square meter that's also a version with uh, 120 I think or 140 I don't remember but there's also another version where you can actually remove the Prima Loft liner. And uh, when I got this, no, not when I got this, <coughs> I already had a, always had a good eye for these. Oh, wanted ones, they say it like that, right? Then I bought the one because they are expensive. And I bought the one without the liner, just the, the original, as it's called, that they made to begin with. It's awesome enough, but it's, uh, yeah. It's not as awesome as this one. Then I traded this one for a pair of native boots from my region here with a Norwegian guy. And uh, I should just have doubled in some uh, extra money and gotten the model where you can uh, remove the liner and so on. That's a perfect option, I think. So a big fast shout out to you guys, to an awesome piece of equipment. You can go and check it out online uh, if you want more information on it. I can just say it's expensive, but it's worth it. So guys, please check the links in the description. Please consider supporting the channel and all that good stuff. And until next time, get out and train, get it done, do something awesome. And see you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much for your time.